Hi, I'm Janae Meadows of JanaeMeadows.com, and today I'm going to go over the symbols tool, the mysterious symbols tool of Illustrator. I've got a bare dead tree here and one single leaf. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover this tree with leaves using the symbol tool. So take your little leaf there, I'm going to shrink him down so he fits the tree. And see that's about the right size. Now, this is really easy to make him a symbol. Just bring up your symbols palette by going up to your window, down to symbols, and they'll bring that right up for you. Select your object here that you want to make into a symbol. In this case, it's the leaf. And just drag them right over into the symbols palette. It says, do you want to make a new symbol? Mm-hmm. Go to graphic. I'm going to call it leaf. And there he is. So, now you can just, right from that palette, just click and drag and put them right on your tree. Now, this would take all day to have to just keep clicking and dragging leaves and adding it to it. There's a much faster way. And so, the, what that is, is the symbol sprayer tool. Go over here and you can see Shift S, or I'm going to bring a whole tear sheet of cool tools out here. All for symbols. And the first thing we're going to use is that symbol sprayer tool. You got a little spray can, get ready to do some graffiti symbol style. Just click and drag, and you see just tons of your symbols just popping off that, just spraying. Wow. Got a green tree. And you just keep adding more and more if you want. So I think that's pretty good. You got a nice healthy looking tree, except all the leaves are going the same direction. And we got some like flying off the edges. So let's stop that from flying. Let's use the next tool on the list, the symbol shifter tool. And you can just shift those leaves in together. You just click and drag and just kind of manipulate exactly where you want them to be. And that looks pretty good. And then the next tool is the symbol scruncher tool. And it's kind of the same, but you'll see I can scrunch them in. On, they just like pulls them in on, each, on themselves. Click and drag, scrunching. Then the symbol sizer, because leaves are not all the same size. So if you just click and drag again, and you see they're starting to warp and bulge and all becoming a little bit different here. There you go, some plumped up on you. Let's get in on one here, you can really see what's happening. Click and drag, and they're just kind of growing in size. Okay, so the next one is the symbol spinner tool. So you can select your, if you go to select one of your symbols, you'll see it's a nice big group for you. You go to your symbol spinner tool and just click on that and then click and you can see all these arrows are going to show you which way your symbols are going to spin to. It's pretty cool. Watch this, let go. Now you've just, now it's getting more natural here. Got a real tree going on. Okay, so once you're happy with how your symbols are spun, let's get those going on. The next thing is it's you know, summertime's over. It's time for things to become fall. So go to your symbol stainer tool. It's got a paint bucket and it's splashing on the symbol. Bring up your colors palette here. I can do that. Let's pick a nice red fall color. And then watch this. Oh, you spray it. Now the fall leaves are here. Cool. It's fall time. Next tool on the list is a simple screener tool. Click on that. Watch this. Leaves are a little opaque when the sun's coming through, so if you just click and drag and hit those leaves, they kind of just come a nice little see-through. So the next thing on the list is, and the final one is your simple styler tool. You're going to want to bring up your graphic styles palette. And then watch, we've got a default one of a black outline with white interior. So that's the style. Let's make these leaves that style. Let's click and drag. And as you can see, they've all just adapted that style. They're white with black outlines. It's pretty neat. All right, well, I hope that uncovered some of the mysteries of the symbols. Symbols reveal and symbols conceal. But if you don't know what that means, that's okay. 
go to JanineMeadows.com to see what I'm up to, and be sure to check out some of my tutorials.